Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 2 movie series figures. We're looking today at Weapon Assault Drone. Weapon Assault Drone comes with detachable saw blades, three armor cards, and, feet and figure stand included. This comes to us from Hasbro, ages four and up. On the back of the package, it says Weapon Assault Drone, developed by Hammer Industries to stand up to anything the enemy can throw at it. The Weapon Assault Drone is a walking fortress. Nothing short of a full-scale airstrike can slow it down. Luckily, Iron Man has more than enough power to tear through its invincible armor and stop it cold. Other figures you can pick up are Iron Man Fusion Armor. We've got the Air Assault Drone, as well as Iron Man Ultimate Armor. You can also see there it's got the detachable saw blades and posable shield panels. There you go. What I am going to do, I'm going to take a bit of a break, and when we come back, we're going to have a better look at the Iron Man 2 movie series Weapon Assault Drone. Certainly more to come, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. As with every other Iron Man figure, it does, come in, it does include a figure stand. Nothing really on the figure stand, as always. That's all right, though. The benefit of these stands too is that you can use them for other small three and a quarter inch scale figures. Anything that really uses, uses a peg. Um, it does come with the cards. So we've got your bottom base card, your legs, and then of course your uh, your arms and head. Just put that in place and put it into the stand, just like so. Put that in the back. It's very unlikely I'll have him displayed with the stand anyways. And let's have a look at the Weapon Assault drone. All things considered, he's a really decent looking figure. Um, he's a little loose, unfortunately, in the one knee, which kind of sucks. This one knee is not as bad. This one knee is really, really loose. Um, but I, I like the bulkiness of him. He's really, really large. I tell you the beauty of, of a figure like this too, and uh, depending on, well, if you still play with toys, not all of us do, but um, if you still play with your toys, not only does this make a great uh, toy, a great army builder robot for like your Iron Man, your Marvel Universe figures and stuff like that, but it also makes a great figure for like a G.I. Joe. I kind of wish that I had stuff like this when I was younger, uh, G.I. Joe wise. I think this would have been a great little military droid uh, that G.I. Joe could have built. It could have been like a top secret, you know, uh, experimental suit that the Joes have built. It's green, right? So I would have said more so G.I. Joe than Cobra. It could also have been a Cobra thing, too. Now, it does have an alternate head. You can see that there is a blue visor, kind of a blue light going on in the front there. There is also just a generic head, which hopefully I can change out here. There we go. Just unpeg it and put that one on. There we go. This one doesn't have as much personality going for it. I guess really the blue would be a little nicer. But still, I mean, it, it makes for an interesting looking head. It's not just a, a standard face or anything like that. You'll also notice that Spot's been playing around with these shields. There's these side panels that flip out. And he's kind of got this protective shield going on there as well. I'm just going to, you know what, for the sake of the rest of this review, I'm going to take off this head. I'm going to put on the original head. I just think there's a lot, little more going on. Let me zoom back here a bit. Yeah, he's just hes just a really bulky looking droid, which I think is, is really, really nice. He's also got these saw blades going on there. You can take the blades off. There's just a peg. Right there, there's a peg hole, and then there's a peg on the saw blade. And you can actually swap it out for these longer. Now, they don't really advertise these as anything more than blades, but 
to my way of thinking is they're a little too large. Let's see if I can find the right one here. They're a little too large to be uh, saw blades. My way of thinking is they kind of look either more like weed whacker kind of things, or they just look like tentacle, like a like a like a whip. But I guess they could still serve as as a as a saw blade, just a longer variety of it. Kind of have it looped around Iron Man, or again going back, you can loop around your GI Joes. So there is that option. Likely, I would just have him with the smaller blades, anyways. Um, as for his articulation, the weapon assault drone here has a ball jointed head. It has a pin and socket shoulder, so you can rotate it all the way around. Move, moves also in and out. Um, it looks like just a standard bend in the elbow, no swivel or anything like that in the forearm. Uh, the hand is just sculpted to the forearm, so you can't do anything with that. There is a ball jointed upper torso. Uh, the legs are on a pin and socket as well. There's obviously that swivel in the thigh. There's the two bend points in the knee. And there's also a bend, slight bend in the foot. So you can get a lot of movement out of it, a lot of different poses and whatnot. Now I know there's probably, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, there's probably a ton of Iron Man 2 figures still available in Toys R Us. They can't seem to get rid of these. Um, maybe you may not have necessarily wanted to pick up all of them because they've just been flooding the pegs, but if you can find some of the drones, I think really the money is where the is wh is with the drones. Uh, again, there's so many different practical reasons. You know, as as a as a someone who plays with toys, you can really really get a lot of fun out of these. Um, again, they could be Marvel Universe, you know, they could be, uh, you could army build these to death, really, and uh, you could have the, the heroes fighting these, you could have your G.I. Joes battling these as well. Uh, these would just be really, really fun. Um, the weapons drone, the weapon assault drone, I should say, uh, I am going to give, I think I'm going to give him an, I'm going to give him a 7. I'm going to give him a good 7. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the Iron Man 2 movie series figures. We're looking today at the heavy, or the weapon assault drone. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. And I just banged the camera. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.